hardly even know how to fight. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Lupa! Yes, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. She's getting old, but she's still a tough old bitch. Aren't you, girl? Yeah! Hey, anything going on? I thank you for saving my life. The Autodoc module you recovered did the trick. I trust this payment is adequate compensation for your troubles. Now, lest we grow sentimental here, the time for battle will soon be upon us. Legatus Linnaeus draws nigh. When he arrives, my legion will assault Hoover Dam. As in Shine, you have a big day ahead of you. So, do you have a plan for how you're going to kill Kimball? Yes, name your concern. It is the armor of a Kenturian. You have the rare honor of beholding it unspattered by the blood of my inferiors. Our Hello. Way. True to Kaiser. Our way. How goes it? Why would it bother me to enslave these wretches? They have no purpose, no creed, no honor. They live in pitiful squalor, undisciplined, intemperate. To enslave them is to save them, to give them purpose and virtue. Honestas industria prudentia. Even the virtues of slaves are beyond the desolute on this side of the river. My forces are in a position to assault the dam. Legatus Linnaeus has assumed command. Are you ready to go to him? To tell him to begin the assault? Good. In hoc signo torus vinces. Report to Legatus Linnaeus immediately. He'll brief you on the plan of battle. Come back victorious, or don't come back. Stranger arrives, one who bears the mark. Finally, Mars has accepted my sacrifices and unleashes me. You are the courier Lord Kaisar has spoken of. The slaughter begins then. I am the commander of this army. The son of Mars has granted me the name Lanius. And the time to serve him has come once more. In the past, the NCR has relied upon attrition, withering on numbers with ranged fire and falling back as necessary. Not this time. The dam contains tunnels to its heart, overlooked by the NCR, now occupied by the Legion. When the battle begins, the NCR will find our teeth at their throats in a dozen places. There will be no attrition, no falling back, only carnage. Our forces are better equipped to take objectives than hold them. I do not wish to defend this place if another option exists. Our opponents follow a strict chain of command, which is both a strength and weakness. I intend to use you to strike at that weakness. Find the enemy commander, this General Oliver. Kill him or his resolve. Do this and his cowards will retreat. 
leaving the dam to us. How goes the battle in the east? Good news indeed. If only the same could be said for the west. The enemy is much more fortified ahead, and have snipers set up at key positions, which keep our men pinned down. In addition, they've managed to beat back our men emerging from the intake tower ahead and secure it. If we could just get rid of those damn snipers, or release our waiting men in the intake tower, we'd have the manpower to storm their position. Perhaps I do have a secret tunnel out of here, but that doesn't change anything. My duty is to stay and fight. My thoughts exactly. This slaughter pleases me. No act is more sacred than consecrating a site in the blood of one's enemies. The rest of the dam is fully under our control. A few pitiful holdouts remain, but their time is short. The General was the last source of concern. With their commander dead, the NCR will pull out of this region, allowing our conquest to continue westward, unopposed for a time. The Legion will swell with the number of slaves we will claim from this place, and the tribute we gather will fund further campaigns. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. But for now we rest. Know that your efforts are appreciated and will not go unrewarded, but we can speak of that later. For now, come. We must see to the burning of the dead. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Caesar entered the Strip as though it was his triumph. The Legion pushed the NCR out of New Vegas entirely, driving them back to the Mojave Outpost. The Legion occupied all major locations, enslaving much of the population and peacefully lording over the rest. Under the Legion's banner, civilization, unforgiving as it was, finally came to the Mojave Wasteland. Though the courier herself was just and forthright in her dealings throughout the Wasteland, she helped the Legion achieve victory. Caesar honored her with a golden coin, minted in celebration of her contributions and distributed throughout the Wasteland. The fiends attacked Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam and suffered heavy losses. Caesar, unimpressed with their performance and their dependence on chems, had them exterminated. After the Legion's victory, Caesar, out of a strange respect for his old fellows, allowed the followers safe passage out of the wasteland. Reluctantly, the followers accepted the offer and abandoned Old Mormon Fort to the Legion. The Legion, preoccupied with its acquisition of New Vegas, scarcely took notice of the town of Good Springs. Many locals moved on, fearful of Caesar's long shadow. Only the old and the stubborn remained. As reward for their loyal service, Caesar forcibly integrated the Great Khans into the Legion. The sick and elderly were killed, the women sold as wives to ranking officers, and the tribe's identity was annihilated. Though many Great Khans mourned the death of their tribe, 
Many more were ultimately satisfied with their revenge against NCR. After their victory at Hoover Dam, Legion troops rolled through Freeside. The Kings tried to fight back, but most were killed, and the rest fled into the wasteland. Most powder gangers at the correctional facility fled into the wasteland rather than face the advancing forces of the Legion. Those brave or foolish to remain were killed or crucified by the merciless legionaries. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>